say get the caretaker and I'm SMP. If you don't say nobody, it's not your own SMP. You say quite similar to the Empire's SMP. Where everybody has a biome to build their empire in. You can uh, trade to go to war, make friends. Currently, I am the only player online. And so we do have a, a few other people. And so we also have uh, Alfred here. And uh, I currently have a home out in, in a desert biome this way. And uh, what this in? And to what you can do. Okay, so both of the other members are currently on, not online because um, we're all on clear, except the server was lagging pretty bad, so I didn't record, and to some of the other members did not record at all. A few of them record, and a few of them stream. And to uh, and uh, my base is just over here. So I've already got it started on my house. I have plan on having multiple floors, this one being the bottom floor. I right, I'm going to be needing to spell some cobblestone so I can get to right. I'm going to be needing to spell some coal. Spell some coal. Now I need to smell some of the cobblestone so I can be working on it. Uh, there we go. So like, currently, there is a total of... The, so far, I we have a total of seven people who have actually gotten on the server. But if I just open up the map... This is the area that I've explored so far. We do. I do know that we have a few members living out this way because that's where, where they are. That's where they chose their bound to be. And to decide that I'm going to live in the desert. And to, one of the things that we have is that we all have different. To, we all have the. Since it's a role playing server, we all decide to win. We all get to decide on what we want to do for our role play. So we're going to role play. play for me. I am a mineralogist. And um, not only do you ha have some sort of a profession or role that you play as, you also we can uh, have uh, different items that you they can, that's it, you're the only person who can sell them. And um, so, it, like, one person might be able to sell glowberries, so that, that's what they sell. Another person might uh, sell bamboo. And um, so, as the, really, as time goes on, more of the storyline will be revealed. And then, um, I hope that you all get to see this sim. I hope you all get to see this sim storyline go from just being a from simple beginnings to having a really great storyline. Currently, I'm just uh, decorating the 
trying to get the floor of my house done. And as soon as the permit, I'm planning on going out and gathering some more wood. Using a jungle wood there for as the wood if I and it in fact actually can I might be able to go pay a visit to one of the other's houses. Oh he's on Hello buddy. How's it going? How are you? I'm okay. good. Rocking this full iron. Finally got to the sofa to work, so... Why did you do it? Hold on. That's it. Uh, iron golem killed it to an endermane, so... Her remains are oh. the endermane. Oh. Oh, this isn't my village is that way oh. like it like this is just a village i was going to because i'm trying to get my way to a taiga biome oh. and i, I, and I know the there's map, one that way one is all the way that way yeah that's where i'm going huh. so where is your empire uh so it used to have it all the way past the mesa huh. The the stony uh, peaks, but I decided that uh, that would be way too far from everybody since everybody's uh, basically uh, a few thousand yards away. Yeah. So I decided to move it to, instead to the desert uh, spawn. Oh, uh, the desert. Okay. So that's uh, cool. And where is yours? Is, are you in the? Uh, uh, my base is that way. Are you in the savannah that's below the river? Uh, it's not, it's not, my village ah. isn't that far that way. It's like at, um, it's somewhere that way. Ah. I know that. Um, it's like, so, ah. like it's past that pond and then the next village you see is mine. There should be like hills ah. um, surrounded on that side and that side. Okay. So, I'm still uh, trying to, like, I need spruce for my starter base. Uh, so, that's why I'm trying to get it. Uh, do you need help with uh, Um, I probably don't need help getting it, uh, but, um, let me look at the materials. Uh, let me look at the, hold on. Okay, so... Do you have uh. any? Uh, do you have? Uh. Let's see. Oh, um, do you have any andesite? Uh. Uh. If you don't have any on you, I will. I'll, I will pay you with so, iron. I do, know that the stone, I do know that the stone peaks have something. I can stop by there real quick. 
Okay, uh -huh. so here. If you get me 30 andesite, there's 5 iron. Okay. Uh -huh. I'll try to beat that like, as soon as possible. Okay. Bye. You can just, like, if you go that way, you will you should see my village. Okay. I'll stop and there should drink. be, like, so, yeah, and then yeah. just leave the andesite in there, because I'm going to go to okay. the uh, taiga. Okay. Good luck. All right. You too. Bye. Bye. So now we have our, we have our first mob, I guess. I don't know. Mm. Helping out because I want to procrastinate on my base. Not a building. Oh. I should be right here. So. I was not seeing that coming. I did not see that coming. This it should be just down here. Just be this way. Then I'll turn in. Is it oh. Oh, okay? Oh. Okay. The village should be near. Oh. oh. I still have another river. And past the river to be. So this day can be both amazing and also absolutely terrifying. It's on the chicken stand. Okay, there's the river. I've got it on the map. What is Once I get there, I'll meet back up with you guys, and then we'll get started on our journey. Go get some to the site. So, I'm going to talk to him because we're focused on the human. Yeah. I'm currently on the way to get myself because I died. And to, we actually have a lot more people online this time. There's uh, me, Freddy, and Milkman on time today. Four of us. Um, I decided that I'm just going to go around this huge 
Mesa Mountain area because of the times I tried to really it's just not worth trying to go over through so it's I'm gonna have to go around because for some reason I lost a lot of health way too long and then I realized that I had forgotten that I had all of my stuff in a chest and put all of my stuff so I had all my stuff in a chest that it jumped, it jumped into the cave it because I thought oh, hey, I'll just uh, reset my health real quick or my hunger real quick that way I can actually regenerate and also I'll just sprint completely forgetting that I had or that I didn't bring a bed with me and that my phone was over there so now I'm slowly trying to go through and then oh, we're really trying to go through. Get back to uh, my chest of stuff. I'm gonna need a star farm too. Still have quite a bit to go before I get that or get all the way to the water. Oh, the village. Everywhere I go, there's wind. I think it's my least favorite color. Okay, I think I'm going to stop the recording here just because I don't want to bore you with all of that. I am sorry that this video has been extremely boring, and I'll see you all later. Bye. Uh, I got you. I did not, and I actually am continuing. Well, I was a pain on any bike off, but that's too short of the video, so instead, it's going to finish it off with mining it. The button for stone to try to finish the house. That's a good. Just a 
connected to the caves over here. And it's, like, this part of the video actually takes place much further. Really, like, a few days I had put it the last part, but uh, this is in. If I decide to go nowhere, that's way too short. I guess I'm just going to some mining while I try to uh, answer some questions. And I don't know where the hole is I saw earlier. Probably should be. So, uh, whoops. So uh, each of us has a different uh, role. And I won't be <laughs> what the other are going to be. But if you want to, to know uh, the, if you want to go watch some others' perspectives, if both uh, Blondie and uh, Freddy have their own perspectives, and you can uh, find their chat channels in the description. I'd say in this, I'm going to be playing an archaeologist. And oh, that's it. And uh, you'll be able to uh, find, and uh, we'll be exploring it more of what I will be doing in uh, as this as this archaeologist as we continue. But as a little surprise, a little teaser, this armband is on my left arm. Actually, has something to do with it, and actually reminds me. Uh, I prefer like this. I don't know. I don't know why I keep saying. It. Well, I, I I prefer it like this, but I'm okay with that. Also, has some. But my part of what's going to be happening has something to do with my armband. That's all I'm going to be telling you about what I'm going to be doing. But the armband will have some sort of importance. And a uh, other things. So the house time thing is it. Is if it's off of the design, I found that a lot of it to be making it friends. They're like going to be basing it off of some other stuff as well. But I, I will share. I will leave it. What I am basing mine off of in the in the description as well. That way, if you want to see what I'm what I'm mainly basing it off of. You can, and then so where everybody lives. So I used to live here in these mountains, or I was planning on building my base here in these mountains. And there's actually a farm that I had left over here, but I realized that is way too far from spawn, which is over here. In fact, you can see spawn is just right there, and uh, one of a uh, and uh, Blondie actually lives uh, over in this village that we paid a quick visit to, and uh, this is the village where we met uh, to Blondie at. Some of the others lives far over. I don't know how far this way. Because this is this isn't a really good map. It's a shit air like areas that you have not explored. And uh, actually, yeah, as soon as I finish mining this wall of stone, I will pull up what it looks like. Or I'm going to I'll pull up what it looks like. That way you can see what is so. That way you can see the. That way you can see where exactly everybody is. So I'll just say uh, that real quick. Okay, so uh, here is uh, this is our map, and uh, so right here is spawn, like I showed you. I'm in this desert. This is the mesa. This is the uh, where I was going to have my base. We have uh, someone living over here. We, that's a uh, Wandi, and then. All the way over here, we or two more people is living, and then as for the others, I actually do not know because uh, I have uh, not actually checked with 
that they have where they live. And if I just say look right now, uh, so that we have some we have uh, some living in all the way up. One of them, so one of them lives in a taiga, and uh, this, uh, wait, the, I don't know which one. Blondie lives in the savannah. We have uh, then the other biomes, which I won't be revealing who lives in those ones, is a birch forest. I don't know which birch forest, and I actually don't know what color represents birch forest on this. We have a uh, plains, which is this color. There's uh, there's so many plains that they could be living really anywhere on the map. That's near really far all the way out this way. Like this is at negative one thousand, negative two thousand, about as spawn is three like three thousand blocks away, which will make traveling there hard, but we should be able to manage it if we like when we want to pay them a visit. Then someone is in living in this in one of these jungles, either this one or this one. I don't think they're going to be living in spawn jungle. Maybe they'll li be living in this sparse jungle. And to um, then we have a few others who have not yet chosen their locations. And I do believe that we've had... Uh, uh, I think we've had one or two or three people join, or like hop on while we weren't on. Which means that uh, we're going to have to uh, try meeting up with them at some point. But... Let's get back to mining. Oh, it's night. Right, so the only one. So, so what? So, hey, do you have any other questions that you uh, would like to ask? Leave them in the comments, and if, with if I end, I hope we will be able to get to them. And if, oh, and if you're wondering what mods. We are using well. What we'll, each person has their own mod, separate mods, but I am currently on. I am currently using fabric with the uh, iris shaders, journey map, light matica, lit. Uh, how do you? I don't know how to pronounce this, but I'm pretty sure that it's a. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure it's uh. And it's the uh, the white matica. <laughs> it's my little a l i l i d. I don't really know how to pronounce that. And there's a replay mod, which I am not going to be using this episode. I have I'm probably going to have to figure out how you're supposed to use that. And we have simple voice chat and sodium. Where everybody has a, a simple voice chat in order to talk with each other. And sodium is a dependency of iris, which is how we get to. Here. And iris is how I have these cool shaders. And judging from the sky, I'm guessing it's raining. Because usually you're able to see a whole bunch of stars and cool planets and stuff. I'll keep coming back here to keep slowly digging out. Place seems important. Seems important. What is this song? Uh. I'm not seeing that. That is way too loud. Spiders. 
Why are the skeletons at people's building? Oh, the shader pack? What the? Oh. I'm wondering why you can't do it. Also, the server has crashed a few times so, while I was gone, so hope, and hopefully it won't crash today. But it is still in, or the, it is still in a sort of state where it needs to be kept. We need to be careful, because if we're not, we might just get like, the whole server might just Wait, it's per stack, and these four for the next stack. I should have grabbed another. Should grab one more. Just about to do. Them. So outside of the of making it the uh, like the wood part of the house, actually out of the Either oh. trying to find it. I was thinking of making the wood either using a birch or jungle. Uh, let me show. Let me actually just pull what the house is going to look like. Uh, let's see. Uh -oh. oh, there we go. So this is uh, what the house is going to uh, look, it kind of look like. This is what I'm basing it off of. And uh, as you can see, there's this is the part that I'm currently working on. The stone part. There's going to be a uh, overhang. My great grandparents actually owned a house that. That kind of was like this, where there was a part that you could enter and exit that was on the bottom. Most of it was the underground, though. And then there was the actual main part, and there was also a top floor. That's why when I saw this design, I felt really drawn to it. it, it because it looks so much like my grandparents, like great-grandparents' house. And it, so I was thinking of, of either doing jungle or birch. It, for no, really, and the reason why I chose one of those was is because they those say, Two woods I feel really I feel are probably the best two that I like design using design wise. Although let me know down in the comments uh, what kind of a wood you think I should use. So I'm going to uh, just say uh, this film melt uh, it's about melt. When the stone has uh, finished uh, smelting, pause. Hello. So the stone has finished smelting, which means that uh, we can now get uh, started on making stone bricks for the walls and the floor. Was it overkill to make two stacks? Probably. But at the same time, probably can use it for other projects. I mean, who knows what kind of a, who knows what kind of a stuff we can build out here in this desert? We could have a whole city. I'll take the ground archaeology. This is going to annoy me, but at the same time, I do not want to try moving it. Probably going to have to get started by that. Well, the house is. Well, not complete, but. Uh. Uh. Draw. Thank you. So, uh, temporary recon. Okay. 
Okay. It's extremely embarrassing. You know what? Temporary group. I'm just gonna have a nice one here. Guy will be the way. Soon, we're all going to be there will be more than just this. Soon, there's going to be a bustling civilization here. Here. One. Somewhere in the Playing down here, I'm guessing, because I think someone's to the south of spawn. And then one. All the way over hereabouts. Somewhere over in this area. <clears throat> and to. I think uh, that's uh, uh, enough for recording time. Oh, also. Um, what am I saying? Uh, the resource pack packs that I am currently using it, I'm just using it, it, the, whatever is included in the fabric mods and also the invisible armor, so I, that way, armor's not blocking everybody's skins. Like, this one I have, it is designed, or I took a skin and uh, I decided to it, customize it a lot. And, um, and it, also for the shader packs, I am using this one mainly and uh, then this is the other one that I have uh, just a case which works slightly differently everything's quite a lot brighter why is everything so bright I don't know why it's that bright uh, like different. similar but different I prefer the I prefer using it Astralex Although you could use it, if, like, I, uh, whatever shader is it works for you, works for you. I prefer this one. And him. Um, there's no giant to uh, get over there this time. Although there is the mace that's towering in the background. It would be cool if someone has a civilization up there, or their own empire up there, and then they just say, uh, every day. I could wake up and see them, and every day they wake up and can see me. Well, that, that's it, is all for the first episode. Sorry for the trigger here. And this has been the Caretaker on the Afterlands SMP. And I will see you all next time. Bye!